Alex, and I'm the designer of Alex Hossack Collections. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how I make one of my simple band rings in wax. Um, and I'm also gonna show you the tools I use to do it. So let's get started. As you can see here, there's many different types of waxes that you can use for the wax carving process. For our purposes, when we're making the ring, we're gonna use this ring wax, which as you can see, has this nice hole that they've already started for you. Um, this even comes in different shapes, and as you can see, different colors. I'll get into what these different colors mean uh, later on in the process, but I just wanna kinda show you what these look like. And for bracelets, you'll kind of use something like this, which is very helpful. And for necklaces, pendants, and whatever else, you can also use blocks of wax and carve from there. Now this is the jeweler's saw frame, and what you see on here is a wax saw blade. When you buy it, uh, it's gonna come in a bundle like this. Um, you can also purchase just regular saw blades, and these are used for when you're cutting into metal. And this is the wax ring sizer. Now this is used on the wax here. After you cut whatever size you need for the ring, you will use this to kind of sweep in the inside and put it at the size that you desire. And what you see here is the wax um, file. And as you can see, there's different coarseness from rough to a little bit less rough to even finer. And this is used to really cut down the wax as you're shaping. There's many different types of waxes that you can use when you're carving. The most common is this blue wax, which again, you can get at any jewelry supply website. Um, I bought all of these from Rio Grande, and this is just easy, easy to carve, but still has um, a, a hardness to that where you can see the details. And the green wax is a bit harder, so you can get a bit more intricate details, but it's also a little bit more brittle. My personal favorite is the wolf wax, and it has a good flexibility and you can still get the intricate details. And one other interesting thing is that there's different shapes than you can buy as well. So depending on what type of ring style you wanna create, this just makes it a bit easy. This is kind of a uniform thickness. This is a little bit thicker at the top for something like a dome ring um, or something that has a bigger stone up top. And this has even more space uh, for a bigger ring, um, ring seat for the stone. Now to get started with the ring, we're gonna take the ring wax you see here. Um, I've already started a line right here and then the ring's gonna be pretty narrow. So this is pretty much all the space we're gonna need. And now using the jeweler's saw frame and the bench pin here, you're gonna rest the wax on the bench pin and take your jeweler's saw frame perpendicular to the wax and just go straight up and down, pushing a little bit forward as it cuts through the wax. So we're gonna just cut all the way through. And in the bench pin, you can kind of see the V that I've cut, and that's for this purpose. You can have uh, the wax resting on something, but you're still able to, to cut. Um, and as you see, it's a little bit jagged here from the wax saw blade. So what I usually do just to get it smooth uh, is use the coarse side of this wax file and kind of slowly go on top until it's smooth. Now this is where the bench pin comes in handy because you can now rest it against here for stability and work straight. And gradually work it down to a flatter, less jagged surface. So as you see here, much smoother, and this is the jagged side from the wax saw frame. And I think for this ring, let's make it a size seven. So this is a pretty small hole. We'll stick our wax ring sizer in and twist it around. And maybe when it gets to the six, we'll switch sides. Okay, so we're at size six now. Switch. We're 
almost at seven. Now, usually I'll do just a little bit smaller than seven because during the process of filing, we'll generally get a little bit um, more open. So we'll come down to a size seven. So now that we have the size that we want, now we determine the shape. So I've marked on here, just the ring that we're gonna make is a square shaped ring with a round center. So my work is generally pretty organic. Uh, so I generally don't use super straight lines and it has a very made by hand feel. So if you're looking for something a little bit more precise, you're gonna wanna use a ruler or other forms of measurement uh, to make sure your circles or squares or lines are a bit more precise. For my work again, I like to be a bit more organic. So I drew this shape just with Sharpie as a guide for when I'm using the jeweler's saw frame to cut the shape. So as I'm using the jeweler's saw frame, I'm gonna try and cut on the outside of the black line just because as you saw before, uh, this is gonna create a little bit of a wonky line and we're gonna need to use the file to get it smooth. So we're gonna give it a little bit of leeway so that we don't get it too thin. So this is on a curve, so it's a bit hard to start sometimes, so just easy does it. And again, make sure you're going straight up and down as you're cutting. It's really important um, to keep a straight line. So there's one side, and we'll do the other. And as I mentioned, you can see a bit of wonkiness from the wax saw blade. Now this is just because of how coarse it is. So now we're gonna use the file to smooth it down a bit. And as you can see, when I hold it like this without a bench pen, it kind of shakes a bit. And that's where the bench pen really comes in handy because it creates a sturdy position for you to file from. slow and steady in a consistent direction and you can still see the sharpie line and for this ring i want to have it a bit rounded so what i did is i drew a line at about the halfway mark for me to start filing on both sides so i kind of know where to stop so i'll just take my file and for this i think i want to use the less coarse side um, and i'll start kind of filing away so again, I'm gonna do it a bit of an angle. Slow and steady using the bench pen. And switch sides. And it's important to note that this is just the ring design that I chose to show you guys. You can really do whatever you want with this wax, whatever shape, um, whatever angles, whatever um, form really. And that's kind of the beauty of wax carving is that there's so much freedom in what you can create. So I worked on this wax a little bit um, in the process that you just saw. So you can see here it has a bit of a knife edge and this inner circle, I softened the edge a little bit using the less coarse side of my wax file. So I started kind of going like this, working it around, and then I used the smaller file uh, to get it a little bit softer. So it's a little bit less coarse to soften it out. And then from here, I'll show you the next step. So then I softened the knife edge a little bit more, so it was kind of just more of a softened edge. Um, so now I'm pretty happy with the general form you can see here and now it's time to add the texture so now I want to add the texture onto this ring uh, as I mentioned I'm going to be using this ultra waxer which you can buy at pretty much any jewelry supply website uh, I think I personally bought this from Rio Grande um, and this has really helped me but in the beginning I used just a simple alcohol lamp and I apologize I don't have one to show you um, and I use this little tool, which is just a sewing needle stuck into half of a pencil. And what I did was I heated the needle 
um, on the open flame of the alcohol lamp. And then as it's still hot, drew the texture. So heat, texture, heat, texture. And then I use this tool, which I'm pretty sure is um, a ceramics tool to create other textures. And you can see it has a little ball end. Um, but for this purpose, I'm gonna show you how I apply texture using the ultra waxer. All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna use this tip and I have it heated at about 401 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty hot. So you don't wanna touch this to your skin. And I'm just gonna kind of draw some kind of organic lines on the wax. And you can see it's kind of making a little bit of an imprint. And this is just one of the textures that I like to use. And I'll go ahead and do this process over the entire ring, but I'll leave the inner part of the ring plain. So even on this edge, Kind of draw this again you can do whatever texture you want i can demonstrate some options you can even do kind of like a dot texture which is really fun um, or you can do lines like this and that's the beauty of wax carving and working with wax is that the uh, the world is your oyster